this tutorial is going to show you how to create a section view of your green roof. So you can see that I'm in um, my 3D view mode right now. If we switch this from realistic to shaded, uh, the computer runs a whole lot faster. So I'd recommend keeping it there unless you just want to get kind of a glimpse of the realistic view. So that is what it currently looks like. You can see my green roof is here. I have all these layers and I have created my own type. I duplicated the old roof and called it green roof. And so those are all my layers in there. And you're going to need to know what all of your layers are. Let me put this so that it's fitting in the screen here. So you're going to want to probably write these down. Now, I, I just sort of made some things up to give myself a bunch of layers and made up my own thicknesses. Your research is going to give you your own numbers. You are going to want to write these down on a piece of paper or screenshot it and pull it up later, whatever you need to do, so that when you draw arrows to your layers, you know what you to label them and you know what the thickness is of each one. So I'm just going to look at the first two. I have a 4 inch grass and a 1 foot or 12 inches of earth. I'm going to label those two just to kind of give you an idea of how to do this. So we'll go back to our picture. We're going to go to second floor and we're going to go view and section. So I'm going to create a section view. Now I clicked in the inside first and I'm dragging to the outside. So you could do it the other way, but if you want it uh, to follow this little tutorial, that might be easier to follow me. Go down to Sections and open up the new section you just created. And we are interested in the second floor region here. Now, it's really hard to see what's going on, so make sure you click down here and change that to Fine. And then over here, we can change this to Shaded or, better yet, Consistent Colors will brighten that up a little bit. Consistent Colors doesn't have any shading. Uh, you really want to have thin lines on, so that way when you get in here, all these thick lines don't get in the way. So that's thin lines on. You can see that thins everything up. Now I'm showing way more than I need to. I don't need to show all this stuff in the bottom. So I'm going to click my boundary box, bring that up, and I'm going to bring this over to get those words out of the way. Now I can clearly see my green roof. I can see that wide flange I-beam here. I can see the outside edge of my building. I can see this piece here which is the wide flange and then I built my floor on top of that so my guess is that this little blue thing is the metal decking the pink is the insulation there's a black layer of EPDM and so on well let's start labeling these things so to do that we need to go back into um, let's see, annotate uh, my there should be some shortcuts here there that appear up here and you're looking at the A the text button you can see maybe in the shortcuts up here or over here and you want to do yours with the arrows. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit further and I'm going to select this green. Now you don't want to, to bring it straight over because you got a lot of stuff you're going to label. So maybe drag that up. And my text size, we're going to keep that as 330 seconds. That is smaller than a third, or a fourth, sorry. And I believe that was four inches of grass. If I click out of that, it actually sort of shrinks it up, makes it a little bit easier to read. And we're going to add another one. And I'm going to point to it here. And that was 12 inches of soil. Engineers don't call it dirt. They call it soil. So if you want to uh, move these around, then you can, I can click this and I can move it, but then you can see my arrow moves. So you can sort of play around with these and get them into the right location. Get your arrows pointing to the right spots. Um, these are going to have to be pretty tight in here, though. And that's what you do to create your section view. Now, this is going to show up. Um, we also would want to get rid of our, our crop box. We probably want to make sure that it includes the text here. Uh, we can get rid of our crop box by coming down here and doing hide crop region. And that's what you'll end up uh, wanting to have in your section view. Your section view is down here. To add that to the sheet, when it's all said and done, we'll make a new sheet with section views. Um, the default one is way too big of a piece of paper. We can't print that. So we'll drag that onto it, and then you're going to have all of your sections of your green roof labeled. You should have every part of this labeled all the way down to the metal decking. We don't need to label the wide flange. So no on the wide flange, yes on the metal decking. That should be the last thing that's labeled. So you're probably going to have somewhere around 8 to 10 different layers labeled in this green roof section view.